that was a major major bloodbath i don't think many people were expecting that but i'll be going through everything you need to know about the price of xrp about the price of crypto at the moment and where things are going um, we're not out of the woods just yet but i think we've just come out of the actual worst i've got some price analysis as you can see at the moment on the screen i'm going to go through all of that in this video i've got a lot of content to go through in today's video so sit down grab a cup of coffee or whatever and um, yeah enjoy the video because we've got a lot to go through so you can see that uh, the price dropped to nearly 20 cent it was 23 cent um of a dollar crazy crazy prices at the moment um so if you picked up any more at that price <laughs> great for you good stuff before i jump into any of this um, stuff that i've got for you today none of this is financial advice i'm not a financial advisor but it's just interesting to see where things are going so I, you can see two arrows here on the screen you can see the red arrow and you can see the green arrow now the red arrow is where most of the sales were happening and the green arrow is where most of the buys are happening at the moment in my opinion you can see two uh, gray boxes here so sort of sort of, um, sort of similar to where they are that's sort of a buy region for me this is where I'm thinking of picking up some more XRP itself and you can see these two blue lines here those to indicate where there's going to be massive massive resistance in the future once we do hit those prices again um, because 50 cent at the moment is a massive massive resistant for me in my opinion lots of things happening at just one point so just to go through the cryptocurrency market at the moment you can see again that bitcoin dominance is still very large you can see it's at 68.5 percent very very big so you can see definitely bitcoin is the one to go for at the moment for these big institutional investors personally in my opinion the bitcoin dominance is too high i do think it needs to go down because it's healthy for the rest of the market to do so um it can't just bitcoin just can't be all the one that's hogging up all the money at the moment but it just happens to be the case so it's good news for the bitcoin maximus out there um, but for the moment for the xrp and also the altcoin holders we're just, you know, in, in sort of a rut at the moment. But anyway, uh, I've got some analysis here. It's from Twitter. Um, I know it's the best place to go to for uh, price analysis, but it's also good to see some interesting perspectives here and there. So I've got a tweet here. It says XRP third preparation week starts. And they point out here, no lower low compared to previous dip. That's a good sign. Bears are still in control. Bulls still resisting. And that's a very big thing out there that the bears are still in control. The support lines are slightly updated, but dates remain unchanged. Keep your eyes on the 200 moving average. Uh, and then you can see the chart in more detail here. You can see there these boxes and they're talking about how this happens every sort of 280 days and it happens in the space of 280 days itself. So we're hopefully seeing sort of a breakout into the next part of the price for xrp itself now you can see that this is happening from weeks 33 to 40 30 sorry 36 to 43 um and i don't know whether they mean by the top of this uh, top of these boxes here they're saying that the next uh, price would be eight dollars maybe possibly i'm not too sure um, but that's just an interesting chart to check it out for you there i've also got an interesting video from twitter that i saw last night i'll put that at the end of the video um just to see someone else's perspective on where xrp is going at the moment but um yeah loads of stuff so you may be wondering why have we had this massive crash why is that the case well i think last um, yesterday last night really um over in the uk um it was just a perfect storm you know the the dow jones that went down 800 points uh and we went down to two, i think 2018 lows uh for the dow jones a lot of things happening with this yield curve which say that we might go into a recession so lots of bad stuff here lots of fud but also quite interestingly um there was a ponzi scheme found in china and I'm yeah, this tweet here, it says the reason behind this big dump is the PLUS token, which is the biggest Chinese Ponzi. They scammed 70,000 Bitcoin and 800,000 Ethereum. They have still big amounts of EOS and others as well. You can't predict these kind of situations in the crypto market, so please be careful these days. And that's the thing. I don't think we're out of the woods in terms of just being a wild west. There will be days like this. There will be days where we have massive, massive losses, but there will be also be days where we have massive gains as well. You know, this Chinese Ponzi scheme that we saw uh, happening unveiled yesterday, there was about a billion dollars worth of uh, just crypto out there being dumped onto the market. So you got you combine those two things with the Dow Jones going down 800 points and also just what happened with that Chinese Ponzi scheme. You add those two things together and it's inevitable that you get something like this, a massive, massive sell-off. So you can see what's happening at the moment. We've got a, a current price of 26 cent of a dollar. Um, I do think it's pretty much upwards from this point. There will be times when it will dip down lower into testing the 25 cent, I think, and 25 cent region, 25 and a half cent region, just to find areas of support as well. Um, I do think you can see at the bottom here, 
um, on my trading view, it says here I've got about 20 cent. That's pretty much I f where I feel is where the big, 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 big support is at the moment for um, the the price of XRP and just XRP in general. Um, just lots of crazy stuff happening at one point. So yeah, another tweet view here, it says the bullish narrative. So the Chinese are moving money into Bitcoin as a safe haven. And the bearish narrative is the Chinese are dumping Bitcoin on the open market. So I'll let that thought sink in for you there. See what you think about that. Again, let me know what you think in the comments below about where the market is at the moment, what you think is going to happen, where you think we're going to go on from here. I'm just going to go on from what I've seen as well with the price of XRP. Again, this video is about what you need to know. So hopefully I've, I've covered most of the stuff about the fundamentals behind XRP and the price of XRP at the moment. Um, another thing for you is that MoneyGram was pretty much one of the only few stocks yesterday that was actually in the positive compared to the Dow Jones. Now, MoneyGram have been involved with XRP for quite some time, and it's just very interesting to see when you've had a day where the Dow Jones went down 800 points and people talking about the yield curve, probably predicting another uh, recession. MoneyGram was one of the one of the only stocks that was up last night. So it's just interesting to see how these things happen. Again, I've got that video that I saw on Twitter uh, that I need to show you and just see where things are from that because it's a very interesting insight from this guy that he was talking about. So I've got an article here saying that Bitcoin is suddenly under $10,000 as Ethereum, Litecoin and Ripple's XRP dive. Here's why. Interesting article from Forbes and also another one from Yahoo Finance talking about XRP falls into pre-bull run levels after a brutal sell-off. And this was actually, yeah, to be fair, this was pre-bull run uh, levels for XRP. You can see the, the full price chart for XRP itself. Um, where do I see this really going? The things to bring away from this video uh, and take forward is that there will be days like this. Uh, there will be days where you have massive sell-offs, where you get, you know, negative 10%. There'll be days when you have positive 10%. There'll be days when you'll be banging your head against the table and thinking, why is it me? Why is it like this? Um, but there will also be days when you, you know, have moments of euphoria. Um, this is a long term, in my opinion, this is a long term thing. This is not going to be happening overnight. You know, um, it's not the long gone of the days of just that bull run in 2017, 2018, you know, beginning of 2018, where you had pretty much those two or three weeks of massive euphoria, just that massive bull run, prices going up every day, 50% this day, 20% that day. It's not the, <laughs> it's not like that anymore. You know, we have to sort of move on from that and, uh, and grow from situations like these. It's interesting to see where XRP is going. I think um, other things to take into consideration is that, you know, they're talking with partnerships you know they've got good partnerships they said the other day that they have about 100 partnerships ready for 2019 20 percent of those partnerships are with xrp you've got the thing happening with fed now which is not happening now it's happening in 2023 2024 but you can see where i'm going with this you know they're doing a lot of institutional stuff xrp ripple ripple themselves the company are doing a lot of um, institutional stuff taking that into account it's not just hype in my opinion i think there's also again fundamental stuff that they're doing they're creating partnerships, they're creating movement, um, they're selling the idea of that we need to be in that digital age of using uh, money in fintech. You know, we are in that sort of, we're using analog technology in the digital age. You know, the idea of Swift, you know, Swift, you know, trying to use Swift today is just, it's crazy in my opinion. You know, I've recently had fiber installed in my, in my house and it's great internet. And we were just, you know, we're using the, the phone line for the internet. And um, that's the sort of, idea of where we're seeing in this in fintech we're using this phone line to transfer money when we have the opportunity to use the fiber cable which is xrp to transfer money instantly um and, and that's where i see this going so you know i i feel i feel pretty relaxed about this this is just a hap this is happens to be a normal thing in the crypto market there will be days like this and you just have to watch out and be careful for when ponzi schemes and scams are shown and to the public and, and known like this and um, they do a massive sell-off onto the market. They just dump all they've got onto the market. There will be days like this because it is a wild west. The crypto world is a wild west. It's not highly regulated as you know trading stocks or anything like that or trading forex, even though there happens to be shady stuff that goes on from time to time. Um, it is a wild west. And so regulation isn't happening today, um, but it won't happen tomorrow, but it will happen probably in about um, a year uh, or two years or so you know there's a lot more stuff to happen so again watch this space and um, yeah just see what happens let me know what your thoughts and opinions are in the comments below because i think this is a very interesting time for the market we are at a market crossroads still um so yeah let me know what you think in the comments below don't forget to follow us on twitter instagram and facebook at crypto busy where we keep you guys up to date whenever we post a new video 
Also some extra content on there as well. We've also revitalized our Instagram. So please make sure to check out our Instagram. I really appreciate it if you could. We also have a Patreon. So if you can check it out at Patreon, really appreciate it if you could help out. And um, lastly, we have two telegrams, CryptoBusyT and CryptoBusyTG. One of them is a general crypto chat where we've been talking about cryptocurrencies over the past 24 hours, really. And um, just sharing our thoughts and opinions on that. And one of them is an announcement channel. So if there's anything major that we need to announce on the CryptoBusy channel, uh, we'll put that on our Telegram as well. And lastly, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, we've got a lot more content coming out. Um, I've recently had fiber installs. We've got faster internet, so I'll be pumping out more videos as well. Excuse the pun. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Yo, what is up, my families and friends? So um, I'm looking at this XRP chart, and uh, I'm studying this chart for the last few weeks, and I've discovered something so sick that I really wanted to share it with y'all. Yeah, so here we go. I'm gonna try to keep it short and simple. So today we're here at 27 cents, okay? So now I'm taking you back all the way to 2017, where XRP was at its highest between the three and four euros. So this move up from down to up was about 3,000 plus percent. That's a lot. Anyhow, what I've noticed is if I look at the accumulation chart, is that the accumulation of XRP was not even that significant in comparison with where we are today. Look at the accumulation here, man. This is sick. This is even three times more than what we had here in 2017. And it's crazy though, because the price was at its highest and the accumulation was quite modest. And here, the price is at 27 cents at its lowest almost. But look at the height of the accumulation, man. And at the volume that's been coming in in the last few months. So this basically means that um, the banks and uh, the big financial institutions has jumped on the bandwagon here since a few months ago and started to accumulate XRP. Uh, injecting the market with so much money that even a few weeks ago we were at three billion dollars and today we're at about eight million dollars it does not really matter how much um, the amount of money that's just sitting around here just waiting around that's been pumped into this market and just waiting for XRP to push that button to release all of that wealth into the market and that will push XRP into the stratosphere, guys. Do you understand what I'm saying here?